Hi everyone. Welcome to the indie game development blog of Uredom. Indie game I'm going to be making over the next three months, I'm about. So, let me start by introducing myself, then I'll talk a little bit about the game. My name's Nick. I'm 21. I'll be 22 in August. And I'm um, going to school for computer science. I was going to go for art, but... No. I have an artistic background, so I was thinking of going to like I'm, I've been drawing my whole life, painting and stuff. Recently, I had a job where I was painting like sculptures and models and uh, action figures, like prototype ones, before they sent them to Hong Kong to have mass produced. That was pretty cool, but that fell through. Um, I live in Georgia. I know to some people I might sound like a hick. To some people I might sound like I'm from, I don't know not the south cuz it's not how we are down here but anyways yeah I'm going for computer science so needless to say I'll be doing most of the programming on this game myself um about the game the game like I said is called Eredum I think that's how it's pronounced it's a latin word for void or nothingness and pretty much what the game is it's a 3D platformer where the player can only t be touching one plane or existing on one plane at a time. Each plane is uh, represented by a color. So let's say your player is standing on the red platform, and there's a blue one over here he wants to get to. To get to the blue one, you know, most times you could jump to it, but if you are only activated with red, you'll fall through it. If you activate blue while you're still standing on red, you'll fall through it. So what it boils down to is you got to jump in midair, change the color from red to blue, land, and then you're happy. Obviously, it's it gets more complicated than that. You know, all but all platformers are pretty much the same way. I know some people are going to be thinking, it's a, 3D, it's a 3D platformer. I mean, it's going to suck. But 3D platformers aren't inherently bad. It's just that a lot of times the execution's done very poorly, and I think I can avoid a lot of those pitfalls. And a lot of it also boils down to the nature of the game. To the nature of the design, the graphics, the gameplay. So we'll see how it goes. I don't think there's going to be much of a problem, but I guess we'll find out. Um, some people may be asking why I'm going to be putting this on YouTube. Um, one reason is to make a connection to the people who are going to be playing the game, whether it's one person or a million. I mean, that'd be fine with me if it's one. As long as somebody sees. The effort, the determination, everything that I've been through to create this game, I'll be happy. And if I can make a connection with them, that'd be terrific. I mean, there's nothing more I would like to have someone play the game and be like, wow, this kid made this game by himself, everything, over the course of just a couple months. I'll, I'm going to support this guy. Maybe he can make something better, great, down the road. Another reason is because I need publicity. I keep reading numerous places. I don't know if it's a quote where it comes from or who said it. But they, I keep reading that the biggest danger to an indie game isn't how good or bad it is, but whether people know about it or not. It's better to have a bad game than a good game that nobody knows about. So... I'm putting this on YouTube to get awareness out for it because, I mean, even though I'm not doing this specifically to make money, it would be nice to have, to be able to support myself so I can continue doing this, just doing this. Right now I have a part-time job on the weekends and it sucks, so, well, I wouldn't say it sucks, I just don't enjoy it, and I'd rather be able to do this all the time. And a third reason that I'm putting this on YouTube is for aspiring indie game developers. I know when I was preparing to make an indie game, I kept looking on YouTube for not necessarily tutorials, but specifics of how people code, what they're doing, and everything. And there's really not much of that. If there's an indie game development blog or, or vlog, um, there's always they either have the tutorial where they pretty much take the same scripts that come with the engine, in this case I'm going to be using Unity, take the same scripts and just tweak them, hack them pretty much, and put something together, and it's not really helpful. And then the other half of the situations or cases, it's 
somebody that's been making a game. Sorry, I'm a scream with sleep. It's either someone's they're making a game and they upload like a new video like every week or so saying, Hey, this is what I did, you know, all week, you know, look, I'll do all this later. But that doesn't help people in my situation or people that were in my situation that are looking to, trying to start a game but they really don't know where to start. They don't know how, what programs to use, how to code, or anything like that. So hopefully people that were in that situation, they'll see these videos and get inspired and gain knowledge of how to actually make a game from scratch. And hopefully if my game isn't bad, God forbid, hopefully it'll inspire some people to make a game that is better. Because, I mean, who doesn't want that? But that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, if you're watching this now, thank you. Thank you for supporting me right away. Um, I'm going to be trying to put up new videos at least every week. I already, at this time of this recording, I've already been working on it a week. I've got most of the basic graphics down, I'd say about 95%. All the mechanics are down. And I've just made levels today. Today's Monday, the um, 14th. So... Last week is when I started, after my finals uh, were finished, of course. So, uh, this is from all my work that I'll be uploading today, and the next couple of days will be from last week. And then, when we get to the next week, on uh, Saturday and Sunday, since I work, probably either before or after I go in or get off or whatever, I'll be able to upload some videos, dub over them, probably speed a lot of them up, because a lot of them are, or some of the other ones, are about two-hour cuts, so... And um, <clears throat> a lot of the stuff I also won't be recording, mostly because I want to avoid two-hour cuts. So like um, with my player controller, I had some trouble getting a lot of the animations. Most of them are working fine now, most most of the running around and everything. But I was having some real trouble getting them to sync up properly, to get the player to rotate the right way. It sucked. So I only recorded, I think, about half an hour, about um, a couple couple seconds or minutes of footage after I get something work or when I start trying to fix something else I record that but then I have about another hour where I just type stuff and get and trying to get something to work and usually it just comes out of nowhere so I know some people may be frustrated with that but I mean honestly if 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 you want to see that I mean it's not gonna help it would in any way so thank you guys for watching um like I said, I'll be putting up new videos every weekend. Please, if you want, you can write me. If you guys are um, want to know anything more about the game, I'm probably going to be putting up a new another video right after this, uh, detailing more specifics about my plan. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, write me a message, check out Blogger. I'll probably link that somewhere, I don't know, corners or whatever, I don't know. And um, yeah, till next time.